So for over five years now, Google has been working on Fuchsia, a from scratch operating system that prides itself on being not Linux. And now it's actually rolling out. Thanks for watching 9to5Google. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Just after I.O. 2021, Google confirmed with us that it would be rolling out Fuchsia to some first generation Nest Hub products. In the time since, we've been able to get our hands on one of the first units that's running this new OS, giving us a chance to compare it side by side with the old operating system. Now with me is Kyle Bradshaw, who is 9to5Google's resident Fuchsia expert. Hey Ben. Since launch, Google's smart displays, have been, including the Nest Hub, have run uh, what's called Cast OS, which is based on Linux. In this latest update, though, Google is switching out the, that platform with Fuchsia without making any changes when it comes to features or the UI. Uh, the whole idea seems to be to, for the change to be invisible to the end user. We've tested out both platforms side by side, and really, it's almost impossible to find the differences. But we do have some comparisons to show you if you can tell the difference. The first test we're going to do is a boot test, and you'll have to forgive the video quality just because the Nest Hub's low resolution display do it no favors on the camera. So as you can see, the boot times here are pretty close. The Fuchsia unit does get to the finish line a little bit quicker, but not in a meaningful way, especially considering how infrequently a device like this is restarted. Now for our next test, we're going to open up the settings menu and we're going to toggle back and forth between the light and dark modes. Now what this test shows us is that performance in the UI is virtually identical, which again is Google's goal. In a similar vein, our next test is going to look at opening home controls, an area that's always felt pretty slow on traditional Nest Hubs. So here you can see that the main difference is that the Fuchsia Nest Hub is able to load the too many smart lights in Ben's home a couple seconds faster, but not enough to make too much of a difference. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at how the Assistant processes. So one thing that's important to note here is that both of these devices are on the same Google account, so only one of them will open the weather when asked. Both will process at roughly the same time, though, in the top portion of the screen. So in this test, it's pretty obvious that between Fuchsia and CastOS, the Nest Hub stays the same and is able to process the same words and transcribe them the exact same way at the exact same speed. Our final point of comparison is casting to both devices. Both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and are being sent a cast command from Disney Plus on individual Google Pixel devices. So here you can see that uh, there, while it looks at first that there's a significant lead for the Fuchsia device, they both end up loading fully into Disney Plus at about the same time. One potential reason for this is because Fuchsia has a separate application called Cast Shell. 
which may be appearing on the screen as soon as it's called for by the phone. Whereas on CastOS, it seems that the interface is only shown when the application's logo, uh, Disney Plus in this case, is ready. So really, that's the only difference between Fuchsia and CastOS. They look the same, they act pretty much the same, and differences in performance are negligible. And while the update is meant to be invisible, there are a couple of places where you can confirm if your own Nest Hub is part of it. If you meet those qualifications, go down to the video description and we have a full article explaining how you can see if your device is running Fuchsia. But with that said, we'll end this video and we'll say thank you for watching.